Hey, what's up you guys? Hogan the Grim here, bringing to you another Bakugan review. So, for this video, we got a Pyrus, well, Arliss and Pyrus Feral X Gillator Ultra with Bakugir set. Like the last video, I found this at Winners for only $10 Canadian. And as you can see, these are the other ones from the way. From what I understand, the Diamond Dragonoid has been cancelled. And for a quick packaging comparison, here, he, here it is next to the Diamond Enoch that I picked up uh, the other day as well. So these are the Shields of Vestoria Way of Bakugir and Bakugan. And for some reason, they are only available at Winners. If you want the older ones, they're at Toys R Us, and they're crap because they're mostly just repaints of like Halcor and Dragonoid. So go to Winners, hunt for these because at least these have new molds. Now, starting off the bat, as you can see right here, to me it just looks like a Feral Ultra with uh, Pyrus legs. I feel like it didn't change. They didn't change much. Maybe the legs were inspired. They just they thought that by painting them Pyrus. They could say the legs were inspired by Gilator, or based on Gilator, but he was more of like their feral legs, just painted with the pirate colors. And I did pick this up today after I came back from the comic book store with teammate Joaquin. Teammate Joaquin ended up picking up the pirate Gilator uh, back gear pack. And what I did pick up at the comic book store today was the Way of X. Women in Marvel, I got the variant. Carnage, Black, White, and Blood. Amazing Spider-Man. I have mixed feelings with, about Nick Spencer's run, not gonna lie, but I love the X-Men. Sword. And X-Force. At the moment, my favorite comic book run is Dan Slott's Fantastic Four. Oops, one of my stands fell. I love Fantastic Four, and I love what Dan Slott is doing with the team. And uh, I, I'm curious. I really want to know how they're gonna handle Sky, who is Johnny's soulmate, and I really want Johnny to have a, a permanent girlfriend. So, without further ado, let's get to it and crack this thing open. Here is Feral and Gilator out of the packaging. And you can see from further here, they have more Pyrus details. But again, I honestly feel like this is just a Feral redeco. Uh, this was supposed to. I feel like this is this was supposed to be the mold they they were going to use for Feral Ultra before they decided to just remake him into Feral X Skill Tour. Of course, comes with two back accord. Like every back gone comes with a Green Fist and Red Fist. Green Fist has. Fusion, if it's a fusion, plus five. And for Red Fist, it's plus five strike points. And I'm guessing for Baku here, it's minus one. You have to pay less and one less energy. Now, for some reason, these are gonna come with uh, gate trainers. Why Spin Master? You include gate trainers in arm and Geogun pro rising products. So why could you do it here? So, and I know I said I don't like, I don't give a shit about gay trainers, but they do prevent the cards from bending. We have instructions. I don't use instructions. Because what if I lose a figure, huh? How am I going to transform him? Like, I would rather transform him by myself first try. Like, I would rather do it as many times as possible and use instructions because I will always have instructions. Gameplay instructions. So for the cards, we have, of course, our character card. Here it's uh, Feral and Gills or Ultra. 400 B, 2 damage, plus 200. For 200, you can fuse, and becomes plus 600 B and plus 3 strength points. And then for ability card, which is a back of your card, Scorching Swords. What? I have three of these. That was my third one. And of course, now, as like I said, mostly looks like a 
feral, most of the levels are like feral ultra. It doesn't have any Gilator traits whatsoever. And I'm gonna do some comparisons with you afterwards, so I can prove my point. See all the gold. I love how I love that Spin Master is incorporating the gold on Orla's back gun. The original Battle Planet gold, the original Battle Planet back gun looked ugly. No gold, just it was this weird bronze uh, coloring with silver. It just didn't look good. So I'm glad Spin Master brought it here. So for the transformation, I'm gonna, like I said, no instructions. I'm guessing the feet go in like this. Okay, wait. So I'm gonna do the head first. The feet go in. Like that. I'm trying my best here. So feet, head, front legs, back legs, feet, wings. Can we do it? Come on, wings. <laughs> oh boy. I'm going to try this again. Back legs, feet, and then front leg. Okay, after some teeth clenched folding. We have Feral and Gilator Ultra all rolled up. Let's pop them. Hey, that was a nice, that was a perfect stand. We're going to do this again just so I can get a hang of it. I'm going to head in first. Then feet. Okay, yeah. See? No, wait. Ah, oh, crap. It's like you're wearing a diaper. Whoopsies! Ah, oh, crap. So, head in first. Feet. Then you bring the upper lower torso in like that. Okay. There. So now let's do some comparisons because I'm sure that's what you guys want. Pardon me. I forgot to show the Baku gear. So here's, I don't know what this is, Orlum Blaster. Gotta match it to the arrow. Oh, see? And then, for these, what? These look like the the pieces that they use for mech claws I could be wrong on that but they do look eerily similar and boom feral and gilator ultra next 
with the Baku gear. So now for some comparisons. Here is Feral and Gilator Ultra next to Diamond Gilator Ultra. And of course, we have Fer Diamond Feral Core. These two came in uh, starter packs. Uh, this one was the Ultra. This guy came in the Pegatrix Ultra starter pack. So you can see how uh, this guy uh, would have been perfect if it was uh, used as an, you know, just a regular Feral Ultra Molt. And they create a new Molt for uh, Feral Exkeletor. I don't have my gate cards on me. I'm sorry. Like, this guy does not resemble Gilator. Let's just take a look. Doesn't have the crocodile legs. Doesn't have, like, the frills. I don't know. I'm still happy I have this guy, though. Got another fusion for my collection. And then here we have Feral Exkilator next to the two Pegatrix Exkilators. Now, this guy... Looks like it's a fusion between uh, Pegatrix and Gilator because here you have the I don't know what I would call this, but you can see that this clearly comes from Gilator. Uh, same thing here, like you have these sculpted piece details here, which are clearly from Gilator himself, and he's long, and she's long, just like Gilator is a freaking long backlogon. The only thing this guy has going, for, the only Gilator thing. This thing has going for it is the fact that it's long. That's all I see, anyway. So, one last time. Nope, that's Gil Tor. Tell me if you guys can see the Gil Tor in in this guy. And then finally, we have Trox and Nobilius Ultra. And Feral and Gilator Ultra. Now I know that Trox doesn't have this guy doesn't have much that makes has him resemble Nobilis, but at the very least, um, this mold doesn't look like it. It could be used just for Trox, you know. Like I can see where Spin Master went with this with the wings sculpted here, and how. And if this was used just for Trox, it would look super silly. This guy, on the other hand, remove the uh, Pyrus paint, and you could have Gilator on uh, no, Feral Ultra. I'm just saying. Finally, we have Feral X Gilator next to Angel and Diablo. So that is it for the video, you guys. Just drop, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and um, again, I'm do and just to remind you guys, I'm doing a giveaway if I can get at least five comments on that video, and uh, from five subscribers, uh, all you have to do is tell me wh who's your favorite Legacy Bakugan, who's your current uh, favorite reboot Bakugan, and again, if you're subscribed, and you if you do all that and you're subscribed, then you'll be entered for a chance to win a Toys R Us fire promo fire boost. I will see you guys later, Hogan the Grip is signing out.